right, all right, brother. Go ahead and bless us. All right, everybody. Welcome to the one and only Smash Legends podcast with your two hosts, the man, the myth, the legend, Mitsu Hojiki. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if I deserve yeah. that. Goodness, yeah. my man said, Mitsu Hojiki. Impokaishi. Impokaishi. Oh, my goodness, bro. Good to see you, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How you been, brother? So, unfortunately, we didn't get to uh, to last week, but we're here with this week. In which case, the good thing about skipping over a week sometimes here and there is that it does give us a pretty good and healthy time frame for a lot of content, you know, to come. So, we have a, a decent amount of stuff to talk about, but I want to hear about you. How you doing, man? Before we start getting into stuff. And also, starting off the stream with all the art. So, before we get to the art, let us know. How you been, brother? <laughs> Uh, well, hey, you know, uh, it's, it's been a rough time. Um, it's been a bit of a disconnect. But for the most part, um, I've just been working a lot of overtime. So finding time for SL has been a really big uh, kind of like trouble for me. And uh, actually, Shadow just pointed out, me not streaming has been like a bit of a, like my body's being taxed like IRL. And mm -hmm. until the season passes... You guys will probably see me come back and we'll go back to a more clear routine i'll try uh like setting up a set uh schedule actually so then people don't have to wonder when muscle streams next or something like that so that's kind of how i've been i appreciate you asking but to everybody who thinks i am missing and or quit streaming just <laughs> listen bro. life i'm 30 life. now it's blown me <laughs> yeah it's blowing me away bro I'm telling you the wheelchair is coming yeah, it's just life oh, yeah. happens, man. And that's something that just people got to understand. Oh, also, I think it's your left. You mind adjusting your camera to your left? To my... To your left. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Yeah, like, okay. you're already swollen enough, dude. Like, you got to give the yeah. camera some space, bro. You're literally oh, taking up half the damn camera, my bro. My fault. I'll back up or something. Goodness. So damn diesel, bro. No. Goodness, goodness. <laughs> Chill, bro. Oh. All right, so uh, we are going to go ahead and head into uh, the art. In which case, can you still see my screen? Ah, uh, yes, I can. All right. So let me go ahead and set up the art for us here. Take this off. Take this off. So we got the flares. All right, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Time back scram. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's go ahead and head back over. What you thinking about it, bro? That is clean. That is absolutely clean. I like I the, love style, the line man. work. Yes, yeah, the line dude. Work, I mean, obviously, like this looks like they kind of like sketched it out, but I'm telling you, this person's lines are absolutely insane. That and they have a really mm -hmm. good understanding of like some of the actual accomplish some of the perspective just you can see with the hand etc <clears throat> it's just really well done overall absolutely love it Docky mauve mm -hmm. i like this Good one stuff. a lot like i i like I'm, I'm a really big sucker for like sharp styles like this like the hair is yeah, soft same. but everything else like this the stylistic characters i love it yeah, it's like at this guy i ask oh <laughs> baby <laughs> Oh my gosh. Dude, this one was the going Salo. Oh yeah. Oh my Bro, goodness. I, I've seen Salo bust out some really crisp stuff, but like I never thought I'd see him do anything Kaiser related. And the one thing he does, ah, is the Maya Kaiser ship. It's too funny, bro. I love how she's just trying to love up my Kaiser and bro. He's just picking her up. <laughs> like, bro. I, Call me that guy, bro. But my oh. man's got anatomy. Look at the oh shark gills coming Yo, in facts. on the side. The delt separation from the bicep, from the tricep into the elbow. Man knows where his pectorals land, so he's not so freaking chest heavy. Absolutely gorgeous. You want to hear a fun fact about this art piece that I thought was pretty interesting? Look. He used you as reference. Ah, what? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> 
Yes! That's cow. Oh man, I saw a picture of you and I was like, ah, this is how muscles are supposed to look. No, dude. That is absolutely. This is how muscles are supposed to look. And so the person that did this art, they are actually right here. There we go. Sallow. Yes, sir. That's an amazing art piece. Amazing. Dude is a sick artist too. I've seen some of his other stuff. Absolutely talented. All right, and we got this cute little piece of art. <laughs> I liked it a lot. In which case, yeah. it's, it's, it hasn't been a style that we've seen before. And I thought it was really interesting. And it's Robin. You know, you know what it reminds me of? Mm. Um, you ever played that like uh, dance game where it was like yeah, a dance it's, game it's with, freaking like, the little uh, dude like the uh, Friday Friday Night Funkin'. Mm -hmm yeah that game yep that's what i kind of got the vibes from so i was, I was like oh, dude, that's what i'm seeing here it's like a friday yeah. funkin and a robin but the thing is you can't kill him because he'll dodge <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's as soon as you think you got bro. him boom he's out like <laughs> that's what the arrows are for bro left right up down dodging everything bro i like it <laughs> and this one is by uh deep rezo side we got this Oh my gosh. Another man, crazy is... Gundam style. <laughs> yeah, like, um, I forget the dude's name, but insanely talented artist. I think he's a comic Nani. book artist. Um, it's by... Did something back then. Wait, are you talking about like the last one? Wait, was the last one by yeah. Nani too? No, no, no. It was this other person. I forget their name, but they're like a comic book artist because I looked them up. Mm. And um, dude does concept art all the time, stuff like this. This reminds, this looks like it was par like partially inspired, maybe. But this mm. looks sick, bro. Man's got Excalibur up in there. Metsu. Yeah, I'm back. Okay, so Monzi was letting me know. Uh... The I can't I can't remember their name. I have to put it, pull it up. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember the name. I I know. Okay, yeah, I get it. I know who you're talking about. But yeah, like they joined they joined the server as well. Nice. You're talking. You're talking about. You're talking about. Uh, they're a webtoon comic artist, right? Yeah, yeah. They did yeah. like the, one of the first ones, and they, they they also did the full Swan too. <clears throat> Like I was, dude. I can't yeah, wait, wait to see yeah, they, this they, person. Yeah, because they did like like the Spec Ops freaking Robin. Yep. I mean not Robin Snow. No. Yeah, yeah. And yeah they so. drew the first concept of uh, Aoi actually. Yeah. Like, that we yeah. saw anyways. Uh, ordeal. Ordeal. Well, well, that, well, that's the franchise. His his username starts with a V. I think. Uh, yeah. Brent Bristle. Brent Bristle. That's their actual. Bristol. Name. Bristol. Yeah, yeah, but no, this reminded me heavily of that piece of art, dude. Yeah, like, again, I, I can see that 100%. Another <clears throat> clean lines. Like, dude, you can see it. This person could be a tattoo artist. <laughs> Look how steady these lines are. Jesus. Yeah, I, I wonder what, like, inspired this. What inspired these, these concepts? I, I, I like to know. Yeah. A very hyper exaggerated Zapetta, and I love it. I love <laughs> this looks these like art this looks like a, a graffiti style Zapetta that you'd see on a wall. Yes, dude. I I don't know. I absolutely freaking love it. God damn. I don't know what it is, but it's wild. <laughs> Actually, like, have you like said a Japanese saying right now? You know what I'm saying? Have you ever been to a uh, like witch wish? It was yeah. like it's a it's a sub joint or like a sandwich joint. Never, never. Okay, it. so <clears throat> the cool thing about Witch Witch is that whenever you like buy their subs or their sandwich or whatever, it comes like in a in a bag, like um like a brown paper bag, and they had like a wall of all their customers that came, and it was a, of a bunch of different artists. They would just draw on the back, and this is what it reminds me of. So they would definitely hang up this piece. It's really sick. Damn, you gotta show me later. I wanna see what this looks like. And now this one, bro. Even though I don't Ooh. like Jacko, this concept is beautiful. And unfortunately, I don't know who drew this. Like, it, I can't read Korean. <laughs> but uh, it well, is so. Oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. 
I can't say, but they are in the official like, SL server, so. Yeah. Bro, this yeah, is yeah, literally sure. Lucifer before he fell. This was. Ah. <laughs> you know That's what I mean? signature's right there. <laughs> oh, snap. But yeah, like. This is no, I... this is very nice, dude. I like this a Did lot. They draw the concept art too on the right hand <laughs> side, or is that somebody else's piece of art? No, this right is right there. Okay, that no, that's freaking cute as hell too. It's like a chibi art style. Yeah. Oh. Still, even if I'd face Jackal, he looked a little more aesthetically pleasing, but All I right. still hate him. <laughs> GG is though, this is nice. And this one is by Fang. This is an OC that works for 7D. Whoa. This OC is insane. Yeah, we got the whole picture here, man. Oh, macaroni. Oh, I like the little like hair detail with the, lo the snow logo thing that he yeah. had on the seven. <clears throat> oh man. Yeah, this OC goes crazy. Yeah, this is awesome. Absolutely cool. Bro, they have red eyes. See, man, I wish this game would at least have like a, a giant art competition where like somebody tried to develop a concept for something. Anything. This would freaking rock. It, it would be insane, dude. And their name yeah. is Aurora. Or Aurora. Very interesting. I like it no, a lot. I, I, I'd love Very to see more of this. Now... This is something that I was tripping over, bro. <laughs> Damn! I'm saying... By Leah Ju. Bro, That's if true. Mulan comes to SL... Don't let Mulan come to SL, bro. Please. Please do not <laughs> let... Do not let Mulan. Especially this Mulan? Oh my gosh. Please. <laughs> bro. Bro, need I say more? Oh my gosh. Look at... Look Oh my gosh, bro. It's so fire. <laughs> yeah, this is sick. This is absolutely sick. And it'd be dope if they actually followed up with this outfit because I'm digging the color comp. And look at Mushu. Look at Mushu. Yeah, the Mushu, shirt. for real, oh, bro. Oh my goodness. God. <laughs> they ever brought this to us. So, like, this, this artwork is just too, ugh, too good. The artists that be creating art for SL are just too good, man. I, I love it. Imagine if they featured them. Oh, wait. I'm. That, <laughs> that's we what it. we're doing. That's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. And last but not least, I had to save this one for last. I love all of these, you know, art pieces. Shout out to all the artists. However, this one is a GIF. And it is made in the style of the sl emotes the rare emotes with the blue outline that have sounds to them dog yum went yeah. stupid for real bro literally this guy oh my <clears throat> gosh every frame is just completely... i'm saying gosh this darn, is 110 percent the SL art style from the lines, right. the blue outline, the the character proportions, like everything, dude. This is insane. You you went crazy. For real, bro. Like I, I can see the whole talk of thing. Like I would love, I would love to just hear, like. I would just love to hear the dialogue behind this. Like, imagine if Ravi was hurt, right? And they're ready to take him in. And the Sage Council, like, once, like, banished him from Library World or, like, end his story. And this was Nui's turning point. Like, you think you're about to touch my brother? That's not oh, happening. Bro. Dog, and oh, you just see Dark Nui? Oh, my gosh. Or if she got faced up with Witch Queen? So like, I need you to I need you to come in to the Sage Council, like accordingly, and she's like, or what? And then she does <laughs> this, and you see Dark Nui, like, nah, you effed with my brother. I'm literally about to destroy you. 
Oh yes. my gosh. Like, I love Nui so much, bro. And to see this, oh, just dark Nui. Like, yo, I'm really about to tear into you. You can hear this gift, bro. I'm saying, bro. I can hear her voice. And then, like, that message just deepens. Like, yo, let me see Witch Queen versus Nui. In this, like, if if this was animated, like an animated show, would this not? Oh, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> For real, bro. Really, <sighs> really well done. <clears throat> Oh, All right, shit. but alas, we are back. Oh, spend all that time looking at all the beautiful arts. Thank you for everybody creating and continuing to bless our game with your art. All the artists that contributes are amazing. You guys are phenomenal. It's, it's insane. And for the people that I unfortunately did not feature, please, 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 please tag your art, please. That's all I'm asking. That way I can properly see outside of, you know, the discord name, because I, I want to give the credit. But this were I, in my opinion, like the, like the biggest highlights. But anywho, now we're going to get in to talking about Kaiser adjustment, the enchant and Marina. So the man himself, the man that's taking up your screen and my screen, people can't even see me because you're so damn big. <laughs> How are you liking the Kaiser adjustment? How do you think that the community are is like adjusting, no pun intended, to the Kaiser adjustment? I'll be honest, my DMs <clears throat> have closed for a reason. Um, people are just like, how can you be okay with this? Like, this is like, dude, I'll tell you, it, 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 it was, I personally think it's a little too much, but mm -hmm. it's because of the fact that um, I think with having armor being casted on abilities, I think his skill cap was a lot higher, you know what I mean? Because yeah. like, back then you had to know an uh, armor. Now, yes. you, just, you yep. just go ahead and like, even if you do get a read, you're just walking. So I think right. personally, it takes a lot of like, what once brought Kaiser like that difficulty level to a more casual level that now he's a menace. And mm -hmm. I mean, in casual settings, I don't care. Like if you have a three man that doesn't know how to play the game, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> If you don't know how to take out Kaiser, Kaiser's just gonna slap you around. Yep. But that just kind of how I feel right now. As to like the casual stuff, and of course what people have been telling me and what I've experienced, and I, I mean obviously as a biased person, I fuck with it heavy. But mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I see, I see the community, and I, I hear them. So for me, I do, uh, I did appreciate. I will say that I, w I did appreciate the adjustment just because we haven't seen Kaiser get much love, right? Um, and this is the most love that he has gotten, right? This is the closest thing to like a proper buff that we've wanted for a very long time. However, fighting his ass, I will say I have caught myself like holding my tongue. Like, I love you, Kaiser. I do. I love you so much. I do. But the biggest thing that I will agree with the community is that I just wish that when he gets CC'd, that he would get staggered, that he would flinch. All because, as you said, is that I didn't look at it from that perspective. I was just really hyped at the fact that, yes, Kaiser is finally getting some love. But on the back end, all of the, like, I guess like training, dedication, and like thought process behind when to armor and when not to armor is now thrown out the window. Because now, as I also said before the patch, is that Kaiser can just stand there and you're not moving him no matter what. So it's like now the thought process is a lot more on the opponents to where now when I'm fighting Kaiser, I'm like, yo, no matter what, I'm going to have to stay on this Kaiser's ass and just terrorize him while he doesn't have armor. And once I see that he has ult, it's it's all about terrorizing him as much as you can before and while he has ult, before he uses it, that is, right? So I do like that aspect because it makes him a lot more menacing. So it's, it's kind of like a, a double-edged sword. I don't like the fact that <laughs> when you stun him, he doesn't move still. You, you're not moving him. He is a complete unit, right? Is that a good thing? Yes. Is it annoying to deal with? Yes. But on the contrary, there is still a whole lot of broken stuff in the game. So that's why I'm not necessarily pushing for that idea of, 
okay, once he gets stunned, then go ahead and knock him off the point because then you have your Rapunzel, hit him with one skill, okay, get him out of here, right? So I don't think that, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Oof. Bless you. I don't think that there's really anything that needs to happen to Kaiser. I think that he's fine exactly the way he is. And another thing that I found myself doing is that although he doesn't move, I kind of like the idea of now you have to just straight fight him while he's fighting back. I, I like that. And I found myself like with Marina, right? That Marina's autos didn't do, well, don't do much auto damage at all, right? But I'm still hitting him where I can because I'm like, I got to get as much damage on you as possible. That way, once you get out of ult, I can go ahead and handle you. So a lot of the thought process that came from Kaiser's side now now has been dumped on the opponent's side. So there, like I said, it's like a double-edged sword. So I think that in the end, Kaiser should still stay the way that he is. I don't think that he deserves a nerf, even though we may get one. Um, thankfully, this update came out and he didn't get nerfed surprisingly right we were all expecting that yo kaiser's gonna get nerfed the next update kaiser was nowhere in the update no. so i like that and, I, and hopefully it stays that way i'm i'm here like either <clears throat> or you know what i'm saying like whatever comes my way i'm just still gonna play him mm -hmm. <laughs> like that's just how i feel but no nah, absolutely but uh no. one thing uh you touched on it lightly there ken do you know if we are safe to go into the marina subject because i think you got possibly i think one of the most all-around experiences <laughs> that probably, i've seen because probably a lot of the community even though they play marina i see it here and there but I, it's flashy in a way i like mm -hmm. what i'm seeing but what are you what are you thinking as to like where she falls into the meta like what comps do you think she works well with like let me know what you're thinking because i'm actually very curious for where her place is in the meta, um, I don't know. I can't. I can't get that deep. I can talk about Marina one hundred percent. I think this is day five now that she's been out. I believe day four, day five. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I'm just gonna talk from like what I know at least because I can't. I can't talk about like who I think that she pairs well with just yet. Uh, I think that Marina is a very interesting cookie. Right. I think that she's really cool before she released and we saw, you know, like the early gameplay of her. I said that she personally just looked like a, a cooler Rapunzel. Right. What we got in Marina is what I originally wanted from Rapunzel. Rapunzel's autos are very basic. They don't do anything. You can't move. Nothing else comes from it. When it comes to her combos, it's just air auto, 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 air, auto, air skill. Runaway ground skill, runaway ground skill, runaway ground skill. It's like she's she's very stale, and I didn't like that, right? I like the fact that she had range, but you weren't doing much with it. They completely did a 180 with that with Marina, and although her basic attacks are there's nothing heavy combo oriented, right? Is that I look at her in the same sense as Goldie. Goldie doesn't have heavy combos, but she has a lot of different mix-ups. A lot of different like you know like, like mobility options mostly That's being like right her anti-air is crazy auto auto you move forward you anti-air same thing with marina goldies knocks you back on the last auto marina's knocks you back on the last auto but marina she ends up being able to uh jump out of it after hitting her last auto so in my opinion she plays a lot like Goldie. Like, I play her the same way that I play Goldie, right? I'm autoing around a whole lot, autoing around a whole lot, trying to see what I want to do. And when I first started out, I found her a little bit tricky. Uh, mainly because I'm taking the route of playing her without auto targeting. And I don't know if you were there. Were you there when I explained? No, you just said, ooh, so you don't know. All right, so I'm going to go into it. So, the thing about no auto targeting Marina, right? is that her potential increases tenfold, right? Reason being is that we know how far auto-targeting influences the legend, right? You of can course. be super far away. Now with Marina, her last auto attack can hit for three blocks worth. 
if you're within like like that third block range, she can hit you that far away. Damn. And that in context, <clears throat> that's like the training mode stage, like four. Yes, 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 the grid. Like three or four. Yes, yeah. the grid. Now, the reason why this is important is because just like I told you that I play Marina, like I play Goldie, is that I get to move around in neutral. Auto targeting players don't. If you try to attack in neutral, you're always going to attack towards the opponent. Okay. okay. So when sense. I'm playing with Marina, say if I want to get somebody off, right? Mm -hmm. Off you, I don't have to attack directly at them. I can attack beside them because she has a large hitbox kind of like Peter, right? If, uh, what's it called? If a, um, is a, if a Cindy is trying to like, you know, ground scale towards me, I can use my auto attack as a dodging, like a quick step, right? And then attack it another way. So there's so many different things that you can do with the autos alone that makes her skill cap, like her skill ceiling so much higher that you just cannot achieve when it comes to auto targeting. Now, the other big yeah. thing, right, is yeah. when it comes to the skill, right? When you use her ground skill, when you use her air skill, you're automatically diving in towards them. In which case, the reason why this is so bad is because it's a very far lunge and it pulls you to the enemy so much before you actually get control to be able to steer away, right? So something that's huge is that if you if you're fighting Molly, the moment you like Molly sees you dive, she can react and hit her ultimate, right? But with auto targeting off. <coughs> You're able to use the skill, but diagonal to her and swim around the molly and then be able to hit her in the back. You can make crazy plays like that, right? So even though she's a linear character, in which case trying to play no auto targeting with linear characters is very challenging. This is what I ended up saying is that it's a lot easier to be able to perform really well with auto targeting and be consistent with that versus reaching the higher skill cap, but staying consistent at that higher potential, right? So I said that the theme for me playing SL is now that I'm hard mating Marina and I'm gonna continue on like the no auto targeting Marina journey. And so far I've been loving it. Um, I was playing with Hook. Uh, it was me, Hook and Mets actually, uh, even like before this is that he said that he feels as though Marina fits my play style really well because like the way that I'm playing her, he was saying that it just felt like I was everywhere at all times, right? So I was able to back up my teammates when I needed to. And the other thing when it comes to Dom, it's really hard for her to stay on point. Her skill has a lot of range to which case she ends up getting off point, right? Yeah, I've seen her run off plenty of times. Absolutely. When it comes to her ultimate, her ultimate is hard to steer as well. So you really have to know your angles to be able to like hit bounce on each corner of the point in order to stay on it. When you're playing dual touchdown, the point is much smaller. So you're not staying on the point. You're it, that's just, you can't rely on her to stay on the point. She's someone that is able to defend the point, help people get off of it, but she has a hard time staying on it. You feel me? Like she's a heavy support character. Um, so instead of trying to stay on the point so much, when it came to like the scrims that we were playing in, I ended up falling back and playing her in a much more uh, like bird's eye view scale. Like, all right, I'm going to be constantly looking at seeing like what's going on in the match and seeing who I can knock off my, you know, my opponents, okay, what okay. I can break up and things like that. And I think that she plays extreme. When I started switching to that, she plays extremely well. Her ground skill is amazing. Ends up going underground and she's invulnerable to damage depending on what it is. She's able to go under Alice Mines. She's able to go under freaking flare, uh, fire on the Does ground. Does she go under ult? Yes. Like, I also... One more time? Really? Does she go wait, under wait, wait, wait. Alice ult? I'm sorry, I just want to make sure. Oh, under Al Oh, I don't know if she goes under Alice ult, but I know that she can go under Robbie's. Mm. So she could probably go under Alice ult. What? Yes, That's dude. Massive. Yes. But you have to be able to get to it. Like actually get deep underground because you can get hit like during the startup and whatnot. And the other okay. thing that's really important. Okay, so Chow just confirmed that she can. So the other thing that's really important in regards of auto targeting versus no auto targeting is that when you go on auto targeting, you're always going to go towards them. To which case, unfortunately, when it comes to her skill, it's not manual, right? So you can't self trigger it. You can't go underground and instantly pop up, right? 
You can't press it again and pop out whenever you want to. You have to wait the entire duration of her being underground until she comes out. Unless you come to contact with an opponent and then she comes out and hits them, right? So the reason why playing her with auto targeting is not the good thing to do is because say if a Dawn is doing ground skill, right? You're gonna end up using her, your ground skill and going straight to the Dawn. And because he has armor, he's gonna hit you right out of it. You're gonna try to come out to hit him and you're gonna get hit with his hyper armor, right? Mm -hmm. versus no auto targeting you see the dawn coming you're able to swim around him and stay on point mm -hmm. right so when it comes to like a ravi ult if you see the ravi ult is coming sure that's great you're underground you're dodging it but because you have auto targeting on you're gonna end up running into the you're gonna run into the ravi anyway and end up getting hit so with it off you can swim around the ravi and then you can go into your ultimate have hyper armor and be bouncing around in order to continue stalling yeah that would right be Okay, I see what you're saying. Now, uh, another big thing, right, is, again, her third auto. Having that range to be able to tail whip people, there's plenty of times like we're playing, like, you know, be it Dom, Team Touchdown, and I'm playing the neutral. I'm freaking dashing left and right playing the neutral, and I'm binking people, sniping them with the third auto. And that bounces her in the air, and now she's floating in the air similar to, you know, like Master Cat using his ground skill, and he's able to jump wherever he wants to. She's able to do the same thing. So... I think that for Marina, I like her a lot because I think that she is arguably the best character, if not amongst the best, of showing the concept of how much better you can be at the game with auto-targeting off versus okay. being skill-capped with auto-targeting on. Like, I love, 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 love the fact that, yes, you can play her with it on but you are not going to actually experience marina and see her true capabilities unless you play with it off it's just flat out unachievable and it's a, it's a big difference that's actually a really good thing to point out because uh a lot of players are comfortable with using auto targeting for mm -hmm. everything and like me especially um i think i forget how exactly we came up on it but I remember playing VR, and every single time when my ground skilled, that I had a double, like, punch, I hit a box. Yes. Because it's in the, like, the vicinity. So I'm like, F this. I'm not using this stupid freaking, like, auto-targeting ever again. And ever since then, you get, like, punches that you could never get before because whatever target is nearest, you could literally miss someone from a clip just because of the fact that you had been directioned that way for the auto targeting purposes right. and not get both of them so no absolutely so seeing something like that that absolutely increased it so you're seeing reactive play style and then just what so playing in neutral better like that's kind of the game plan if you really want to like capitalize and of course no auto aim right yes for sure <clears throat> I think that, like you said, like that reactive and neutral play style with her is phenomenal. Um, in regards of her and the meta, uh, I don't think that she's necessarily a meta character, but I think that she can hang with the meta in regards of dealing with meta. Because something that is really big about meta characters that hurts them is characters that have range. Like that's something really big. So I can fight, you know, I can fight Snow all day. He's not gonna outrange her at all. Oh. And she's able to outrange Snow, right? So I think that that helps her a lot is the fact that she has that range on both her air auto and her autos in general. Now, the interesting thing that I will say with her that I do not like at all, but because I'm a sucker for, you know, like conceptual things and you know, changing the game is that, you know, when you try to jump, when you're hit with uh, Witch Queen's skill, how you have the reduced jump. Mm -hmm. That's how her jump is naturally. Okay. Like, like I'm saying she can't jump over Dawn's skill. Oh, wow. Yes. Uh, right. Her jump is the worst in the game. Damn, I didn't even know her jump height was that low. Yes, it is very low. Kaiser's on... is high, but his hitbox makes it lower. Yeah, right. <laughs> like... 
yeah no i always bring it back you're 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 not jumping with her now the, now i will say that the the nice thing with her though is that her air autos because she has a short hop she has a literal short hop her air autos are really nice like you don't have to jump way up in the air like cindy and come all the way down and try to hit somebody with you know it like the uh so like a falling bottles are- yes yeah. is is very good wow good to know <clears throat> yeah like i said um my experience necessarily with her in particular have been dom primarily mm-hmm. and even then um i haven't seen anybody necessarily perform like especially in na i've seen a couple crazy ones in eu shout out to amon i saw a couple mm-hmm. of things on zet's stream that i saw him kind of exposing and uh, of course the the old dodging thing if you just have the timing a lot of the times can you really get her you know if right. she has it up and you know the timing so like uh good players really accentuate the timing thing so mm-hmm. again a lot of my experience have been mainly through dom so that's why i'm trying to get the bigger chunk from you because you've played her what duels duos everything yeah i've I played her well i've played her in quote unquote everything i played her in the duo touchdown i played her in duo deathmatch um dom and duels a whole lot and you can still see my screen right mm-hmm. okay all right, so if you want to like continue saying thing, I, w- I was going to try to uh, bring up um, a replay if I do have one. Ooh, that'd be good. Ah, to- oh, okay. I like that, Metsu. Let me see. Let's see, let's see. Wait, what is... Oh my gosh, sorry. These are I just team saw touchdowns. Something. You know what? I don't know how I got MVP on this one, but I see where where is one? They were playing with Molly. Yeah, yeah, I remember they had Molly on the team. All right, yeah. So right now I'm gonna try to bring up a game that I feel as though I'm pretty sure it was this one that was pretty pretty deep. I'm ready for it. This also, one went for um, a long while. If you had all the enchants on her, what do you think would be the best combination? Just as the last thing, I'm kind of curious. I've been asking a lot mm. of the Marina players, what would they select? Uh, hers is extremely mode dependent. So before I used to like um, these, I used to like Mermaid Song, which increases movement speed by 7% when using a ground skill, creates a water flow on her path that persists for one second, increasing the movement speed of her teammates that follow by 16%, right? And combining that with consecutive action being um, decreases skill cooldown by one second after successfully hitting an opposing legend, right? Um, so I did like those for, and actually so that people can see, I'll go ahead and switch over to, uh, to the gameplay here, is that I did like both of those, but when it came to playing Dom and team modes, is that it just wasn't it. So if you're playing duels, I definitely say run these two movement speed and consecutive action, right? But okay. if you are playing team modes, then you're gonna have to run the rare. Reason being, you're gonna get at least two flops, and then you can use the third one to try to grab onto a ledge or, you know, get safe or whatever the case may be. Um, and then I still rock the consecutive. A lot of people like doing the rare and the heal, but I don't think that the heal is enough. Right, you hit one person, you're barely getting any heals, and I think that you get way more bang for your buck for the consecutive action. And the thing is, people may not know how to utilize this, so I'll go ahead and showcase it here. That with consecutive action, consecutive action actually doesn't apply to her ground skill, right? So we'll do it here, and it was only one second because it's an AOE, right? Although it hits multiple okay. targets, what matters is how many times is the hit stop occurred and that's what makes this cooldown go down so if we do something like this now we got it back now we got it back oh now we got it back my goodness. but that is six bots no <laughs> damn i mean so right, but I even guess... with the three though even right here right yeah yeah no that that because with the with the hits is that she hit you twice yeah, because the first hit, second hit, because of what? It's like a first Oh, that, that was a three times. Mm-hmm. Ooh. 
So typically it's a two hit unless like something else happens, right? Like if you're like right on top of them, maybe. So is it yeah. so two guaranteed seconds? Yeah, yeah, it's two seconds. Yep, every time you hit somebody, and then if it's multiple people. Yeah, yep. no, that's. Ooh, so that's how you I, utilize consecutive. I can see the vision when you're mm -hmm. saying like that whole versus, play style. Once they win versus this. this mm -hmm, no. See. No. Nah, and then, nah, then nah, people nah, will see nah, that nah, like, nah. oh my gosh, this garbage. I don't like this skill. I want heals. I want no. No, bro. You need that CD. Look at that. Damn. Yes. I'm, I'm over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Bullshit. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay. Yes. Uh, and bullshit. Right. Gotcha. All right. We're good. <laughs> um. Now. So now I'll go ahead and explain the other thing as well. Uh, and for everybody watching along with on YouTube as well is that I do have a full in-depth guide that I ended up dropping. Uh, we explained this. Uh, last stream went ahead and uploaded it so that's for, there for everybody to see and also in my discord server in which case i will be showing uh, later on in the stream for everybody to see with the big project that i ended up doing and muscle you're gonna love it so what i was explaining with like the no auto targeting right is yeah. that he's right there so right here she can hit you with a third auto Damn. from this range yes right that's almost kaiser skill max <laughs> mm-hmm so from right here, it's really nice. And she can hit you with it. And that's what I love. Wow, right? Bro. And she so, has a jump mm, backwards too. Yes. So the crazy wow. thing is, is that this is the sweet spot, right? This is the sweet spot for auto-targeting. From this range, looking in this direction, auto-targeting will always hit you in their direction, right? You, you have no type of influence. From this far, from this far, you're always going to hit towards them. But if you have auto-targeting off, you see that I'm able to dance around this area. Yeah, bro. You can play right? the neutral so well and then yes. take it into the three. Oh, yep. you can just dish around. Oh, my God. This gives me. Yeah, you're right. This definitely gives me the Goldie movement vibes on her mm -hmm. autos because those slip, slip. Like, yep, 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 like, yep. I don't know, slip, dude. slip, jump the other way, slip, <laughs> slip. Jump the other way, yeah. slip, slip, jump, air skill. And it has yeah. good air coverage too, mm -hmm. man. So if you even try to hop out too like too late, it's an mm, immediate. Nah. Does Oop. that does that chain into jump skill? Yep. Like, oh my god. Well, it, it doesn't combo. You can go into oh, you can't air combo? skill. Oh, yeah, no, 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 okay, no. Okay, okay. Like you can go into it, you can dive after them. But yeah, that doesn't I'm answer. Saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you get a good read, ooh, man. So anytime you get a hit on somebody, yep, you can just play around. And then if you get enough hits, you get the CD, and then you go back to point. Yep. Oh, that's some mm. Spider-Man shit, bro. Yep. Yep. And then the other thing was really nasty, right? This causes a hard knockdown. Oh, man. This. So you got the they, they can jump. They can jump recover. But this is a knockback. You don't even have to do the rest. What? That's a knockback. Oh, 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 yo, 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 yo. And let me put you and let me put you on game. Let me put you on game. I explained this in my server again. Bro, when I show you the project that I did, you're gonna love it. So for the longest time, I didn't even know this. And then while I was doing this project, I found this out. Did you know that you can actually figure out what causes a hard knockdown and what doesn't on these bots? Uh what? So you know like a hard knockdown when say like you do um what's it called? Freaking like a Ravi air auto, right? And it lays yeah, you down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, not right. Yeah. You can actually see what causes that on these bots. So you see how I do? Actually, matter of fact, let me let me do this. Talk about the white blink. Yes, because not all attacks do that. So let me go to the alley real quick. Yeah, cause it, cause you string it. But the thing is, that you see how there's no white. Yeah, no. But then on the fourth one, you'll see it. Cause a hard knockdown. Nutty stuff. I Nutty see. stuff. So it's a build up in certain characters, mm -hmm. but she has one right off the off, bat, of, off of one auto. auto. First auto. Man. So, like, if you're going for mix, you literally get off him. Play him neutral. Get off him. Damn. Play him bro. neutral. That's a. You want to confirm? A, I mean, can we say that's a pseudo stun? <laughs> Dog, it's nice. It's nice, bro. And then against the wall, like if you don't jump tech, 
depending on the legend, if you don't jump tech, right, and you try to mash auto, she's doing this to you on the wall. No! You... No resets. Yeah. No. Don't inspire people. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, no. also, also, the third hit, the third hit is the wall bounce, bro. It goes into a, into a uh, true combo. So after this, right? Can you reset jump auto? Hmm? What? Yeah. Well, it puts you in the air, and then you get to jump. Right, oh, but yeah, you yeah, don't. Yeah. But you don't. But you, but you don't have to jump though. That's what I'm saying. Like depending on your distance, when you knock them off the wall, you usually go straight it's into air. Bounce them right back. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Damn, you can get real creative. I'll be honest. Yes, with you. sir. If you, if you have a, even a low enough jump, you can combo into old two. Oh, mm -hmm. that would look gross because you pogo stick them right afterwards. Don't and now, don't and back. now the other thing is that she can't dunk though. So she does carry you like uh, like Cindy off of the the first tick, right? So you do go up with her, right? Okay. Into the slam, and like the rest is just you know like free reign, right? Something else cool that I really like is that, of course, you know you can cancel ult like from at anything, right? So you can go underground and use ult whenever you want to, right? Oh. But the geez. other thing that's really cool is you know how there's like momentum shit. Like momentum, uh, momentum influence things. So the the Cotter cancels, right? Using Kaiser ground skill into ultimate to slide, freaking autos to slide, yes, right? Um, D a while ago, I think he did air skill and went into ultimate and shot Kaiser higher up in the air, right? Crap like that. Or no, no, I think it was I think it was Lauren or someone, right? She yeah. has the same thing. She can do it from this, right? In which case, she has a really interesting ledge attack. She goes in the wall. It looks like you're about to fall, like sunset, and then she comes out, right? Can you but, punish that? <clears throat> can you punish this? Yes. Like, if she misses, yeah, yeah, you can punish that. Uh, okay, because I was hoping you <clears throat> couldn't go, go back in the string quick enough. I'm sorry. Oh, no, I no, no, no. I don't no, know no. her recovery frames at all. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. yeah you we're punish looking that. at it all from like an offensive. I don't mm -hmm. know what her openings are. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, so, I need to know what so the thing is, so she, she has. Like, she can get punished off of second auto, right? If she misses, because she can't delay it that much, right? You have to use it within a time frame, right? Or else she goes into that landing, right? You can also sidestep it if they're using auto targeting, right? So you can sidestep her in regards to the second and the third auto. And then if you miss the third auto, that's where all of her recovery is because she can't jump from that. So her third auto, that's her recovery right there. So I'm just gonna mash auto. So if they mash auto, I see. They if you can't confirm into a hit, right? Mm-hmm. So okay. that's another reason why, although auto target is really nice, is that it's really risky going for that third auto. It's high risk, high reward. Because if I miss, I'm screwed. Ten four on that. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And then uh, she's pretty punishable on her skills as well, because like when she comes out, the end of her ground skill is literally this, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So she's That's punishable. Really cute <laughs> ledge attack. Oh my God. Right. Now, what I was saying was that you can use that momentum, right? Mm -hmm. I thought about this mid-match when I was fighting Monzi, and she ended up ledge guarding me with mines though, right? The crazy thing is, is that you see how she bounces up in the air, right? And you know that you have iframes during, um, during ledge attack. It pops it, don't tell me. No, it didn't pop it, but I ended up dodging it. But you have to use ultimate. Because reason being, so, so I can hit her like this and I'll get stunned. Just like every other, you know, uh, ledge attack, right? But if you use that momentum and you go into ultimate, then you end up floating in the air with your ultimate and getting away from it. It's considered high. Oh, I said I fucked that up. And you got to get the timing right. Uh, nope, I would have messed that up right there because you saw her fall back down, down to the ground. Yeah. Nope, messed that up. Uh, no, right there she was on the ground. Yeah. There we go. I see it. Mm-hmm. Wow. And she oh, can do yeah. that from skill, too. Oh, I see the height. Yep. Mm-hmm. And it's timing specific. Very timing specific. You can get real She's sweet, dude. Here. She's sweet. Like, and, and I and I utilized it a couple of times too, to where like I remember um, we were finding like a hook in a master guide or something, 
and I ended up using the ledge attack, and they both tried to ground auto me, and I dodged it. Oh. With that technique from the ledge attack. That's crazy. It did. It was nasty, bro. Nah. And you can confirm <laughs> off of people too, right? So if you go into it, confirm off of people, but I did it wrong right there because the hit stun. Gotcha. So we we'll try it again. Nope, oh, mess it up. But you get the point though. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. There we go. Yeah, yeah you gotta wait because the hit stop. Mm-hmm. You get real creative. So the thing like with her ultimate is that I'm I'm playing back here, right? Oh, got him off you. Got him off you. Alright, I'm carrying him off. Right? Then when they need to recover, say like a Ravi ult is coming in. Like they're Ravi ulting. Alright, I can go ahead and return ult. Alright, y'all come back to the point. I'm still bouncing. I'm still bouncing. Right? Alright, I'm dodging, I'm weaving. You feel me? Yeah. Like, she can stall very well. And this is the other thing that I was talking about, right? Is that I'll go ahead and show you what it's like with uh, with auto-targeting. So I'm going to end up holding to the right. Just so that you see, like, when I actually take control. I'll do it right here. Actually, no. I'll come right here. You see when I take control of it and she like darts over to the right, but you see mm. how I end up going towards him, which means yeah. that if I'm like this close, you're going to pop it. I can't, I can't, I can't steer away. Oh man. Is that the auto targeting? That is the auto targeting. When you're that close, you cannot steer away. Understandable. So with auto targeting off, <clears throat> we go back there. Uh, I messed it up and knock him back. I see what see. I mean? Yeah. Yep. So that's why I was saying, like, I really think that she really, really showcases the difference between being a good player with auto targeting versus auto targeting off and the skill yeah. difference. Like if Absolutely. you're willing to put in that work, it's going to show because you're going to be doing things that it is literally impossible to do yeah. with auto targeting on. And it shows it's a lot more noticeable than like playing Cindy without auto targeting. Right. Is that yes, oh you can God. hit people trying to sidestep you, but at the end of the day, it's no one's going to like really click like that. But if you're fighting a, a Marina and they go towards you, you're like, did she just swim around me? Like, what the heck? You're not doing that with auto targeting. No, 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 no. You have to, damn. <clears throat> See, that adds that layer of depth. Mm -hmm. There's a training wheels Marina and then there's a whole motorcycle. You feel me? <laughs> right. Yeah, I learned how to drive, bro. <laughs> All right. So I'll go ahead and try to showcase. Actually, yeah, where is it? I'll go ahead and showcase this. Yeah, that went on for a freaking six minutes. That mess went on for a long, long while. Dang. Was it three minutes? Yeah, this is a short one. Long, short and sweet. A long ass game, damn you. Yes, dude. I was playing with Terra, Hikaru, and uh, and Shadow, and we did like a ten minute. Feat. We went all the way to time, bro. Damn. There we go, GC with the forward auto. There gets punished. Nice clean up. If you got questions on like what I'm doing, then of course ask. I'm me. watching you. Nice ground skill, solid entry there. Ooh, look at that stun auto with the distancing, pushes him forward. The other good thing is that she's really good at retrieving items. So I do that a lot. Like I'll swim towards the item and just collect all the pots. That way, like while we're fighting, nobody's healing. Nobody's that auto healing. Shimmy. That auto shimmy is gross. Oh, you just completely fucking danced around that. Nice. Jump skill. You see how you see you see how I'm using that shimmy? You see how I'm using it, bro? Oh, dude. 
God damn. Um, She's nasty. She's nasty, bro. Oh, wow. That's a good catch. Okay. Rotates top. Samurai's down. Good jump skill. Oh, doesn't grab the ledge. That's yeah, I couldn't do it. Oh, there's no fun. It just... <laughs> Dr. Jones. <clears throat> Rotates top. Has enough mobility to go back. Oh, that keep up with the jump auto fall. What do you do there? Just to hit a button, bro. <laughs> On bounce. There's an old two to that. deal with it. Oh, no. The homie buff daddy ram just completely. Yeah, saying no to combos. <laughs> Oh, the other thing too is that even if they try to dodge that ground skill, as long as you can stay under them, it actually anti airs. Really? It doesn't trigger oh while God, they're in. The three man. Mm -hmm. It doesn't Let's trigger back. while they're in the air. But like I said, as long as you can stay under them, then it'll do it. Okay, Mar Marina, holding point here. Here we go, moment of truth. Jump skills, knocks him off. Still on it. What the fuck is going? Oh, sorry, I've already my friend. No! Oh, did he trade? Oh, yep. good stuff, Mets. Recovers. Triple smash, that's gonna be a run back. We can't really swap cams. What is going on? Oh, yeah, that's right, because we're doing Maria. <laughs> I didn't even know what was happening. I don't know why. <laughs> I was like, wait. All right, there we go. Oof. Repositions. Oh, I thought you were gonna use the auto shimmy again. I was gonna say, you dirty. <laughs> Cap bot. Good. Samurai is still holding back. I'm not sure why you guys are leaving him by himself. Okay, here we I go. I love the movement on her, bro. Literally just slid yeah, on her. Yeah, bro. I'm not gonna lie. She, she, she's really good at rotating. I think she's good at this game mode. Boom. Good. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I know that's not that like huge of a knockback, but it's a considerable knockback. Oh, the catch. That's a chase, brother. Panic bolt coming from Team Moon. Gonna get completely punished. Catches the auto. Boom. Gorge, bro. Yeah, you Oh! No, you can't go in there, bro. <laughs> That's enough. Yep. Oh, dog. And then her air auto is freaking nasty. It was one game that we ended up playing, and uh, I ended up keeping them out, and we kept. So that was that one. It may have been. I can't remember which one it was. Yeah, I can't remember which one it was. But yeah, so that's it for that. So what you think about it? I I mean, bro, you use that auto reset so well and then the repositioning. But the thing is, not everybody going to be using Marina like that. There's like, I think there's just a player that makes some of that stuff possible. Like, mm -hmm. there's, I mean, there's high skill cap players that can obviously like <clears throat> use it. Absolutely. But I don't think any single like casual marine is just gonna be like shimmying like that or whatever you're all gonna try to ground skill jump skill whatever the heck spam and that's gonna be the end of it so i really hope to see some like really clean marina gameplay it looks like she's actually i mean with the right person i think she could fit it into almost any comp as a mm. good hold like yes 100 percent, bro so if that's what you really want for i mean she has good knockback with that jump skill like it's just a lot of like movement and zone control but mm -hmm. you have to be on the reactive so you just have to be like eyes peeled at all times see yes. what's the opening what's the next play let's set it up like yes. so that's kind of what i'm seeing so I, I honestly she looked good yeah she <laughs> bro that's, that's why i said i think that like, this is a, in my opinion, I think this is a big W for five men because I personally like the character a lot. Like, they've had, they've been having a lot of slip ups, but for the potential that this character has, they need more characters like this. They need more legends like this. Allow for there to be a actual playing field. Allow for there to actually be a gap between auto targeting players and no auto targeting players because we don't have enough of that. In SO, in my opinion, besides like Alice, like Alice, yeah. I, I think that she, she's just one hundred percent no auto target. Like if you use auto target on Alice, you can't work. But no, she she's another legend that really really shines without it. <clears throat> no, absolutely. So I, I generally think that she's gonna fit in just fine. But I think again that that 
uh, auto targeting being off, it makes a world of difference, man. Mm-hmm. So we'll go ahead and see that. Uh, so do you think we're good enough to move on to the next one? The yeah, the last thing that we talked about is the uh, the unyielding. So your thoughts on the uh, unyielding un enchant? Okay, I played <clears throat> just like this season. I literally played just ranked mm -hmm. with Kaiser with unyielding. Oh, you I got it. Your guys is yeah, no, bro. I have like five k like enchant points, bro. Every wow. time there's like something in the in the fucking shop. Mm -hmm. I sacrifice whatever other points for other characters that I don't give a crap about, and right. I just give them all to Kaiser. So he, I have at least the next four enchants guaranteed for him. Wow. If Lord knows if we get him, but like, um, so I got it. I saw what you guys' concern was because there is a mm -hmm. way that the enemy could play it smart if they're smart enough. Proc it, knock you off, that's it. You're done for another 80 seconds, and then, like, that whole slot could have been taken up by something else. So I understand the openings in it, but my god, when you get it, you get it. And it's the shield layering on top, so it is the biggest gamble for a tank, I think, to take that. Absolutely. You have to know the time, and if you get the time back or whatever, you have to map out your game for that one game. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's going to mm -hmm. be the play that you are planning for next. Yes. So, that's kind of how I went with it. I had a lot of games that I was just like, damn! Like, I'm cooking! And then there was other games where I'm just like, shit, did I even get it this game? So, it is just such a wild card. I think, right. personally, that's what it is. And we do have a lot of diamond uh, damage dealers that could negate the healing. Mm -hmm. I understand that completely, but if we ult, and now that we don't have to auto parry anything, we just walk and yep. just keep it moving. Yep. If yep. you're following me, that's fine, but you gotta come for me. Like yep. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm not moving. Like, I'm, not, I'm gone, I'm healing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so then I do my thing, like maybe I'll even like stack up a pot and sometimes it mitigates the healing, I understand <clears> that, but a lot of times like, you're probably gonna need that quick healing real quick and then that's when i turn around and i slap you and I go back to mm -hmm. point so again i think <laughs> you can't just pick up rejuvenate or you unyielding and just be like yeah this is my game etc you have to have a game playing notice and you have to be aware that your team your enemy team could like proc it at any time if you're that like oh, what is it careless about it and mm -hmm. resetting changes your whole mentality completely you could reset a 3k now because you don't want that gone you mm -hmm. want that for the play. You want that for the Kaiser ult. You want that for whatever yeah. thing. So that's personally my take on it. I understand that not a lot of people find it consistent enough to be a solid enchant. But if you for real just know, you know. Or like if you get that moment, you are in there. That's right. just my two cents. Now, I'm glad that you actually played with it. I haven't played with it. I've gone against it. Uh, in which case, it wasn't like the biggest um, deal to me, at least. Uh, however, I'm glad that again that you played with it, you had your take on it because <laughs> what I'm, I'm, I'm hitting, I'm on a streak right now, bro, of my speculations, right? My speculation. Who are? Bro, Shut up, bro. <laughs> so listen, like, <laughs> when, <laughs> when I saw it, right, I was thinking, okay, it can be really good, one, because you get heals, but two, there are still legends that can out damage it if hard focus, in which case you dinged on that. And then three, I said before it came out, I told you the smart way to go about it is if you proc it on somebody and then you just don't touch them. Mm -hmm. It's, be, it's just like parfait. And then you go right back to beating their ass. But if you don't do the damage and you continue hitting them, you can't do that because then you're just gonna allow them to continue living. Right. And if you're like doing air auto trying to get them off the point and you're out healing that, and you're just gonna continue keeping them alive, you you can't do that. Could I interest you on something? Mm. Would you wanna see one of my games with it? Oh sure. You got the replay? Uh here, I'll put on the the I'll put on the stream real quick. And then uh you have the replay code or no? Yeah, I do. Actually, here, yo, just just have my replay code. How about that? Uh, it's probably gonna be janky from the login, whatever, or like the, you know, the the way that the game records the right, game right. itself. It, it's recording actions alone, not placement in time, etc. Right. So, 
you can uh, so if you want to go ahead and look at it this was one of the best games i had utility of it doesn't matter that it was an L. What I wanted was to strength test the fuck out of this. I wanted mm -hmm. to be like, because um, my team was like, we were having a rough time. This was a really tough game. So shout out to the enemy team for giving us that fucking run. But yeah, here we go. Yes, sir. Oh my god, miss. You're already on deck with that down arrow. I love you, dude. All right, yes, so right here, I barely do anything. Like, I'm telling you, this game is not me at all. But mm -hmm. all I'm going for is holds. Getting slapped up. I'm going a little dangerous so you're, you're here. My pocket here. Yeah, but here, look, I got the shield. Oh, I got the so shield. Okay, good. yeah, you're not gonna proc it now. Oh, no, there it is. Go. No, but here, I jump oh. in anyways. Boom. Oh, no, I'm goodness. still there, baby. It reset the tank. Now I got ulti. You can't fuck with this. Nope. Like I'm telling you, dude, it's so much energy in here. Ooh. Oh, it's, oh, oh no. It. I need to switch over. Actually, let me go ahead and leave no. it. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Good thing I caught it early. Good thing I caught it early. Yes. Good thing I caught it early. Oh, fudge my chest. Woo. Shadow, shadow, he's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. Uh, yes, Wrath. We are. What's going on, bud? All right. Right here again. Like I said, we're playing in neutral here. Uh, enemy team has a good chunk of the point. I'm getting slapped up. I'm jumping in with 2.9k. I'm really close to proccing, but this jump skill leads me to keep it going. So we got 3,900, 3,200. I'm still chilling. Right here, they proc it. So now I get a jump skill. Got to see the read. Ooh, baby, we got HP. We got, we got ulti. What are you doing? That's a heavy man, bro. God damn. Lord, straight Ooh. beef. I'm gonna eat that though. Look, see, look at all that damage, bro. Oh my gosh. Uh, Lord have mercy. Yes, sir. All right, so we got the first proc of it. We're down for another 80. So now we're just <clears> playing <throat> the game for what it is. So yep. nothing new here. Hey, moon, we got to dance around that, obviously. Get hit by that. And get ulti again, because you already know okay, that a UD. Boom. We got it. We got a shield incoming probably soon. No. Actually, no, no shield here. here. Mm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't have it, so I'm chilling. I'm just playing for max. Oh, I can test that jump HP. skill. Yikes. We're going to have to eat that. That's fine. Look, all right. So now we got Wolf to hold. Third point coming in on uh, red team. Now, this next play that I do, which is going to be with Unyielding, it's still not up. You can see the timer on it right now. I right. use ulti. I don't necessarily care. I'm just trying to get some sort of momentum mm -hmm. going for my team right now. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom. Yeah, I'm knocking you left and right. What's up? Pick up that pot. We're chilling. I think they're going to get Magnet. Yep. Nice dodge on the magnet. Thank you, sir. We chunky, but we got the fucking hitbox read, you know? Gonna save myself. Oh, I'm gonna get hit here so bad. Oh. We still don't have Rejuvenate just yet. 819 HP. I'm gonna go ahead and reset because I don't want to power uh, just anything that potentially happen right now. Right. We're gonna set up for this last point contest. So now, oh yeah, my god, now we're good. good. Okay, right. he's on. Oh here we go. my gosh, just barely made it. Look. Boom. Oh my god. I oh. have no HP. It procs, right? Boom. Doesn't matter. I'm Lord. still in the game. You can't stop me. Boom. Oh my god. Wait, hey, you, you you had the speed. Look at so, it fuck up. I fuck up so bad. God damn it, why did I do that? You you were rocking the, the rare to where like if you take damage in the ult, then you run faster and shit, right? <laughs> yeah. Gosh, dude. I can't believe I fumbled that hard. I expected Mr. Psycho would have go back in. There's no way I get back in this. Yeah, no, no. It's a three man. Oh, oh, oh no, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh my gosh, hold on. on. No! <laughs> I would have been yelling my ass off, bro. I know. Oh my you, gosh. You should have heard me a VC, bro. Shout out to Ice Pie. Uh, but you're still on, though. Oh, you're still on. <laughs> yeah, bitch, Tim, one, bro. <laughs> I should have jump skilled there, I think would have been better. Though. Yeah, there's no, I thought you were about to make it, bro. But do you see what I mean, though? Like, yeah. I came from like zero to hero real quick, and there was yes, like a couple areas dude. in that game where my entire spawn would have been denied. So, yeah. I that's just like my, that's like whatever my two cents, my experience. And I've had like half and half. Mm -hmm. I had games that I do that, and I have other games where they just abuse it. Right. So that that's just my um, my personal take on it. I don't necessarily know what other legends I see it on. I saw a team one having it. And I thought that was really annoying because they had 
rejuven they had unyielding and shield and that was very annoying because when she ulted and you started hitting her because you're trying to just get her killed yep. it proc and then she just ding, 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 and you just yep. have to sit there and take it so that was just like uh, a couple little areas where i saw it shine but i understand the community's concern on it i'm just saying like if you're not ready for unyielding it ain't ready for you Right. That's just I also <laughs> heard unyielding. Uh, what was it? Like shielding unyielding on uh, Lauren of X. Yes, that sounds yeah. disgusting too. Oh my god, yeah. See, but like the thing is, not a lot of the community has gotten it on the right legends because, listen, guys, we gotta stop gambling the damn enchant points. Just funnel into one legend each time. I'm telling mm -hmm. you, I tell this to every <clears> single person. Yeah, whatever, I'm a Kaiser one trick, etc. whatever you're gonna call me. But look who has Wait, the prepared. fucking Thanos glove, bro. Like, I'm telling you. You're prepared. <laughs> Never will you catch me lacking on an enchant and I will have the Kaiser perspective on day one. So that's just uh, something that I can tell people. If you really wanna get an enchant, doesn't matter what other things look at in the possible horizon. You just mm -hmm. gotta keep on a single, and you'll right. have whatever engine you want. But that's sorry, I went on a rant. No, 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 you're all good. Now that will take us into the last two things before we get in some games with uh, the people that's watching here. Is that two things? The first thing is that I want to promote the idea of again tournaments. Is that I stopped doing DF tournaments uh, for a you know, healthy while now because I've been working on a lot of different things and trying to figure out how I'm gonna bring it back, right? But I do wanna give this as a perfect example that we have these deals going on. It's only one day and three hours left, right? Um, the first one was like, uh, it, it costs like 35 gold and then 60 gold or whatever the case may be. Is that through our sponsored tournaments, through participation, there was a lot of people that gave feedback. It was like, oh, we want big prize pools. We don't care about gems, right? But look at this though. These are guaranteed enchants for the next update through our tournaments just by hitting you know top four right be it in duels duos or even teams it doesn't come out of pocket to enter in these tournaments and you're getting these gems in order to get the new content that's coming out you can play team moon you can get unyielding you can get these chests gotta be smart about these things and I'm only telling the, I'm only telling the community straight up like, yes, we give five minute a lot of shit, but I got to get on the community as well as like not utilizing your resources. They're there. <laughs> People complain about it being money grabbing, right? But they don't do the things necessary to get it for free. Right. Absolutely. So <laughs> I just got to call that out now. You get a code, right, for the prizes? Uh, no, I only get a code if I'm participating. And that's the other thing. Our sponsor tournaments, I only got one code because I only participated in one of them. I don't even get it. I'm doing this for y'all. Just putting that out there. Now, we're going to look at the other thing, in which case is what I have been excited to show you. And you still see my screen, right? Yes, sir. All right, so the big update that I ended up doing is that I got rid of a lot of channels and ended up uh, condensing it to a forum, which is I never used forums before and forums are amazing. So I got rid of like the the DF, um, like the beginning, like welcomed or DF, whatever, et cetera, et cetera. And I put it all here. In the form. That is clean. So now you have Welcome to Duel Fiends. And so that old channel is now here. You have the clan information. That old channel is now here. The official training guide, right? The mini games, etc. etc. Right? Now, are you ready for this? Because do you remember you, you remember like the SL uh, lab training channel that I had, right? You see how clean the forum is, dog. This is where the 20 plus hours went. I spent from Friday around like five or six. I didn't go to sleep until 5.30 a.m. Went to sleep, woke up at 11 and didn't get done until around 8.30 p.m. And I'm still adding on to it, but that's when I completed it. This is SL learning, bro. Look at this. Damn, bro. 
That is just... Holy mag, bro. Look at the... Bro, he got the freaking icons with the names. The BMB combos, bro. This is the encyclopedia. It is the encyclopedia, bro. Hey, yo, devs, take notes, baby. Those combo videos ain't doing nothing. So, like, let, <laughs> let's be 100%, bro. What the f***? This is just... Brother. And look. So, we can go and search here. From Metsu in SL Learning. 111 results. Talk to him, bro. Talk to him, bro. 111 posts. Every single one explained in detail. Every single one having a video. And not every single post only has one video, bro. There's posts with multiple videos explaining shit. Right? So we can scroll all the way up. So we like... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's the official name. Tekken time, bro. So we like Kaiser. We love Kaiser right here. Kaiser Tekken. <laughs> Talk to him, bro. Sick. Talk to him, bro. That is just clean, brother. Oh, what is Absolutely. this? What is an air auto faint? You are able to do instant air auto into air skill. When using this trick, it is used to make opponents think that you're that you're unsafe as you're falling or just randomly doing air autos when in reality you should be spacing this tech so that you're able to surprise them with an air skill instead hmm there's a video yes bro or that like air into fucking jump skill cancel bro makes us start there or oh, sorry into the fucking lead crap that's it mm. that's crispy bro man's literally got fucking the whole body mm. there, bro I wonder. Let's so filter it to anti-tech or anti-tech. Oh, you can escape Master Cat? Oh, yeah, like the third, what, after the third hit, it's like an yeah, open break. Yep. What, you can beat out Cindy? And you see, this is three, three videos in this one post. Damn, bro, man's got the plus and the negatives. I'm trying to see that Marina Tech anti. Get that shit out of here, you feel me? <laughs> anti Marina Tech? I don't think I have any anti Marina Tech. I don't think I'm going to post that. <laughs> Yo, you dirty for that. Oh my gosh. I'll take notes. Okay, so we like assassins. We like assassins. Let's click on assassins. Let's see what we got for Who assassins. Who likes assassins, bro? Vanguard's worse. Okay. I mean, no, I am. <laughs> bro, come on now. Talk to him, bro. Lord, I'm racing. Damn, bro. For real, Viper. Jeez, Metsu. <laughs> for real. You're getting robbed. I'm going to keep it 100%. Yes, sir, Shadow, bro. Dog. Lord, man. Do you, do you see this? Do you and see this? This is when you, like, go to the menu and you could get, like, you know, you can get, like, the regular burger, like a Whopper, or you could get this McDouble or, like, the fucking, like, goddamn triple with, like, all the plus condiments. You feel me, bro? <laughs> the DLC has already been downloaded, bro. Here's the freaking oh goddamn gosh. dissection. Holy man. Dog, uh, helping people get better at Dom. Actually, no, I need to repost the link. This is wrong. I'm glad I found this. I need to get the right link. Oh, this one should have the right link. Yeah. Yep. It's wild, man. Oh, nice. Oh, I love the question mark logo. <laughs> Better at Dom. Here it is. Share. Copy. Come back here. Edit. There we go. So now this is one of the biggest things that I was saying, right? Is that now with me creating this, dog, there is literally no excuse. None at all. I'm telling you. With all the new players that we get, even for all the different clans out there that want to recruit, oh yeah, you can't be part of our clan unless you get good. <laughs> Bro, the the encyclopedia is right here. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to play this 
character. Oh, I don't know combos. Oh, I don't know what this character does. Dog, it's all here. There's no excuse now. There's none. Again, are people really still gatekeeping players <clears throat> at a glance? <laughs> yes, oh, bro, oh, bro, it's Smash Legends. Come on, of course. <laughs> but dog, like, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I just personally want to say this, like, and I'm full and well tooting my own horn here. I'm claiming I, I, I know full and well I'm tooting my own horn. Who else out here is doing this? I mean, facts speak, like the facts speak for themselves. You feel me? <laughs> you ain't nothing you can say, but like since and I'm getting personal, and I'm just gonna keep it here. Is that since 2021, I have been thinking on the commutative note. Everyone's so worried about being pro players, getting the cloud, doing whatever. Since back then, I've been thinking about how are we going to keep this game's longevity? How are we going to help new players? The shit that we don't have. This podcast, being able to talk with community members. Have community members, their voices be heard. Have their art be shown. Show appreciation. Help new players in regards of learning these characters. A lot of people are like, oh my gosh, these people are so shit at Dom. Now we have this. There's so much, bro. Like, Lord have mercy. I'll be right back. And turn the light on. Hey, right. you totally cool. Damn, man's posting up. All right, I'm back. <laughs> yeah. Lord. You had to, you had to show off the fit. I knew you was going to do it. No, no, that's not why. Oh my gosh. That's not that's why, bro. Crispy today. Bro, it's you all for sleep. you. I get it, bro. It's you all for real. you. All for <laughs> you, bro. Yeah, bro. But yeah, man. So, so I, I want to, I want to hear from the great man himself, from the handsome diesel gentleman himself. What, what is your thoughts on this, bro? For real, I, I think that's something that we seriously lack in the turn. Like, the thing is, there's all these unspoken answers to a lot of abilities, things. Because how many times do you go into SL Gen, somebody complaining about fucking flair or something like insanely basic, like concept to just get around? And I bet you, like, anti flare tech, jump the auto read the auto move around the auto bro you feel me like there's just like a lot of things that technically there's a lot of answers but people just can't expect to just know things i guess because mm -hmm. like i said if they're complaining in sl gen it's because they seriously don't know what to do and as dumbfounding as it is now they have an answer they can revert to it they can look at it it's just like man i wonder if he has anything on that and if not i've never seen you yeah. turn down a question and literally so just any... bring it up and i had it exactly so and Depending on what it is. Ex of course. And if it's like criteria valued enough to be something that's considered like a tech or an answer to something, I'm pretty sure mm -hmm. he'll add it to the encyclopedia, bro. But this is literally the SL Bible that we never had. So devs take notes. Maybe indoctrinate this. Mm -hmm. Maybe y'all should be dual fiends. Imagine. <laughs> Lord, dude. And even with like like the like what you were saying like about flair is that dude there was somebody that had literally said flair is so annoying and you this is maybe what you're talking about i don't know if you went back to the server but there was a picture that literally spoke about flair or hook or somebody right and he said the game says sidestep i don't know what sidestepping is and so the suggestion that was left was can we please get visuals because you left it in the tips, but people can't comprehend words. That's what the suggestion was. Damn. <laughs> hey, bro, God. listen. You, you mashed the baby food forum here, you feel me? <clears throat> if you can't see it here, I don't know what else, bro. You literally have the description, the freaking video to go with <clears throat> it. Bro, you got the whole goddamn... You know, there's nothing you can say. No, nothing. Nothing yeah. at all. All questions should be answered by the end of it. <laughs> like, I'm covering all the avenues, bro. People complaining about the game being money grabbed. Okay, DF handled that. I handled that. 
I'm hosting mad tournaments. You can get gems from this. Collect the gems, spend it on the store. Don't spend your money. They're free to join and it's free to spend once you get the gems. Easy. Okay, I don't know how to play the game. I don't know what this character does. All right, cool. DF answered that. I answered that. I made the freaking encyclopedia. You come here, type whatever character, tech. If there's no tech on that character, that character doesn't have any tech. They're, they're basic. You want to learn how to get better at Dom? We have Dom here. You want to learn how to get better at dual touchdown? I don't have that here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because uh, you should be watching Dom. You need to get better at like universal tech. I added the universal tech tag and now I just have to create the post. Like there's so much here, bro. Absolutely. That and like I think duels are still a little more of a niche game mode. If you were to go to ranked, whatever like people want to take even more serious or like mm -hmm. what worlds will be based off of is Dom. So it's better to just base it off the main game mode and then let yep. people go ahead and grab whatever they can construct off this to use it in other games, you know? Mm -hmm. So no, no, but this is sick, dude. Seriously, really well done. Bravo, dude. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Like, I was so proud of this, bro. Cause I'm like, bro, where was this back in 2021, man? Where was this for us? This is crazy. Absolutely, this is nice. Good stuff. Ah, this is a wall bounce. We were talking about this earlier. Oh, yeah, shit. There it is, right here. Boom, bounce. Oh, go over, and then he finishes off with a magnet. Gross. Oh, he's gonna get a second one here. Damn, Batman. Where's Alfred now? Nasty. For nasty, reason. nasty, nasty. Oh man, no, but that's seriously <laughs> sick, dude. I absolutely can uh, commend you, bro. I think you're a masochist, though. Yeah. God damn. But hey, it makes me feel good, bro. Because like what makes me happy at the end of the day is we we love this game, right? It's unfortunate that things aren't being done by the devs accordingly. But I'm like, if I'm gonna continue playing this game, if I'm gonna continue like, you know, covering this game and doing stuff for my community, I'm gonna make my community, my atmosphere what I want it to be and what I feel as though should be there. And that's what I'm creating. I'm creating like my own SO Utopia, right? And that's what's happening. Now that's seriously dope. And again, I think I wish it would be more directly available to the public. I don't know why. I think it should have some sort of thing for people who make like, even <laughs> if it was a high smasher, if they would have a designated channel for high smasher content in the SL gen, so you mm -hmm. can like funnel the players into these kind of like avenues in case they have answers because uh, the community comes in and out they're all going into that soul gen server just to put in that robin code they don't know how much they have at their disposal because mm -hmm. it's very beneath all the other links but, right oh, uh, man. So, i'm gonna be making a separate video like promotion video for that over on youtube uh that way hopefully it gains traction because dude imagine all the new players actually utilizing that it dude, would be a new wave it, like, dude you know it'd be a mean? complete new wave bro and this is something else that like i can't express enough is it takes the help of the community so many people can complain how dead this game is so many people can complain that players are trash Right. If you're in contact with these players, you have the resources to send them. Spread the word. That's the best that we can do. Like we can complain, yo, freaking SL. Well, five men isn't advertising their game. Well, fuck it. If you want to continue playing this game. Tough titty. We got to do the shit ourselves. Like that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and I'm doing what I can to keep the game enjoyable for myself. Right. I'm not doing this for anything else. I'm doing this because I care for the people that play this game. Like this is my game personally. So when people come to my game, I want them to be able to stay. I want them to have reliable sources. I want them to be able to learn. Uh, that's absolutely like a valid point. <clears throat> but yeah, y'all keep the love shown because uh, honestly, <laughs> I don't know how much time we have left, but we only got each other. <laughs> right. <laughs>